Sean St. Jacques back here with you one more time tonight to take you through the full time highlights between the rematch between Trinidad and Tobago and Cuba. This was a CONCACAF Nations League, League A Group B finale. And it was a game that got off to a brilliant start for the Soka Warriors. You just heard from him, Dante Gilbert, scoring his first goal for his country. What a better time than this to get it in front of the Dwight York Stadium support. And it gave Trinidad and Tobago a brilliant start to this one tonight. It came in the 13th minute and it kind of gave a little bit of a lift, a little bit of a weight off of the Trinidad and Tobago players. They played so well after that, especially in the first half. And it led to a second goal in the 28th minute. Great finish here by Joven Jones, who scores two goals in as many games in less than a week's time against Cuba. That really gave everyone a lift inside the building, and Trinidad and Tobago would dominate the half out from there. They have a 2-0 lead at the half, and it could have been worse, to be fair, for Cuba. There was other moments, other chances, and Raiko Rosarena made some saves. That yellow card worth keeping in mind. Carol Perez picking up a yellow card there. Nathaniel James nearly made it 3-0 twice at the end of the second half. Again, Rosarena denying him both times. And then here, magic wand and some pixie dust from Jovan Jones. He nearly scored off of that. That was his last major contribution. He'd leave with an injury at the start of the second half. Cuba, after a halftime team talk, really started to get things going. There's the Jovan Jones injury. Didn't look too serious initially, but he couldn't continue for Derek King's side. That sort of gave a little bit of momentum to Cuba, and they started to create chances. They had no shots, period, through the first 45 minutes. That was their first shot, a goal from Yasnier Matos to make it 2-1 in the 62nd minute, and that, seemingly at the time, changed everything and put Cuba within a goal of keeping themselves in League A and possibly in the Gold Cup prelims as well. But then the man who replaced Jovan Jones, Real Gill, rounds the goalkeeper and re-established the two-goal cushion just three minutes later in the 65th to make it 3-1 to Trinidad and Tobago and restore order, really, inside the Dwight York Stadium. That gave Derek King's side the boost they needed to go on and see this out. Although I must say, this didn't help Cuba's chances either. James dragged down by Carol Perez. He had already been booked. He received a second yellow and a red card sending off. That put Cuba down to 10 men with just over 15 minutes to play. Full time from there, and Trinidad and Tobago keep their League A status. Full-time stats look like this. Again, Cuba's only shot on target was their only goal. But the Real Gil third goal for Trinidad and Tobago restored order, and Trinidad and Tobago were very clinical in the end in a 3-1 win. Again, that keeps Trinidad and Tobago in League A and puts them in the Gold Cup prelims. For Cuba, they were unbeaten into this game. They're now relegated back down to League B. Another wonderful night of CONCACAF Nations League play. By the way, French Guiana also relegated Nicaragua into the Gold Cup prelims. For our entire crew, I'm Sean St. Jacques. We do say so long from Trinidad and Tobago. It's the night for the Soka Warriors to celebrate.